Oh guys, this is Gadget Man 404 and this is a follow-up review really of the Eashin TX03. Uh, just want to show you guys just how small this is and how thin. I mean look there's two little circuit boards there joined together by bridging materials on the corners. And there's the aerial itself which I'm going to strengthen with either hot glue well, I've had an idea of putting uh, I've got some really thick uh, zip ties and cut it so it fits so it's the length of the actual aerial and then I'm going to zip tie I'm going to have two I'll have one zip tie at the front because it's really thick plastic right down to the base of where it joins onto the board and then another piece at the back where it joins onto the board and, uh, and then zip ties around holding those two together just to give a bit more strength because I've had this on top of a, a nano quad I mean look how small it is compared to my thumbnail it's not much bigger than my thumbnail um, it's a great little camera but the price when I purchased this a few weeks ago I paid about under £22 from I think it was Banggood um, you know fantastic little thing works of a, a lossy battery connector but there's a standard there's another type of battery connector there now my question is to you guys if anyone knows it says it works with 1S which is 3.7 volts now I don't know what the maximum milliamp hour battery you could use with this but you need to be up to a thousand milliamp if you want to get longer than 10 minutes of flying. So my question is this, is there any way that if you was to solder some sort of regulator in here, like put some circuit board to connect to the power source and then say you could power it off a 7.4 volt 2S or even a 3S. I don't know if that would work because I've seen people just connecting a single S battery um, kitchen curry I think was one something like that or kitten curry and basically his battery ran out while he was in the air he did a return to home and it didn't return to home very easily because he was getting RF interference uh, black screen and trying to fly a quad back where he didn't know where it was and even when he did know where he was he didn't recognize the area because he hadn't ever flown there before and with 25 milliwatt 50 milliwatt and 200 milliwatt it didn't improve the range of up to 500 meters but he still got interference on every single power output so my question is is there anything you can do so you could power this from a standard flight battery instead of having a separate one and does anybody know what is the maximum um, battery size 1S that you could use? Because you can get 1200 1S batteries and 1000s and 900s and 800s and so on. But I just want to put that question to you guys who watch my stuff. Does anybody know, has anyone tried it, that you could power this from your flight battery with a little bit of modifications? The aerial would definitely need some sort of modification as it is very, very uh, delicate. I mean, I could literally, if I was to hold that and just twist it, it would bend straight away. So you wouldn't have to have a big impact to possibly damage the aerial. So you need to strengthen that. I've seen some people use hot glue. As I say, I'm going to put some cable ties on the front and back and then cable tie them together like a sandwich and just have the cable ties running down into the inside of the circuit board and that will just give it, because it's quite a thick rigid plastic, that might give it a bit of strength and let it bend but then because it's got strength then it might just bend back or might just twist a little bit and then come back but the main point of this was just to show you uh, how easy it is to use now I'm going to connect up a 1S battery, so just bear with me while I do this. So 
it just goes through and what I like about this is it goes to recycle so I'm using my G tang I think it's the T909 so I'm just going to get the channel right so it's the E1 so and the wrong press to change the channel so there you go so this has been recorded with my new 4k action cam and as you can see it's just a 1f and I'm just sort of trying to get a better uh, get the sunlight behind me a little bit but that is a very very clear picture I mean looking at my monitor FPV watch that is awesome picture I mean that is absolutely banging so clear I mean look, look just look at that I mean that is wicked I mean you get that while you're flying I mean you know you can't you know if I'm up in the air and flying around like this you know I'm gonna see everything you know where exactly where I'm going uh, so very very impressed and I'm just going to try and lean it up against something just try and lean it up against there so you can see I'm gonna turn the camera Is all on the fly if you like I just thought oh I'll just take it up into my bedroom and try and make a video of how you do this now what I like about this is it goes through the cycle and it tells you what power what is being used what channel and what band uh, the one little that little thing there that means it's 25 milliwatt when it goes to two little marks that's 50 when it goes to three marks that is 200 and the way you change the band or the channel is you hold that little button down on the top just for a few seconds and it'll flash so then you do a short press or you have to press it while it's actually flashing so short Yeah, so I've just changed the band there to F, and that's some weird O channels that I'm not quite sure about. I'm just changing the channels now, you have to hold it in for like two seconds and it goes through. So there we're back. So yeah, it's it's really easy to set up and the picture quality, I mean seriously. I mean just look at that picture. I mean that is pretty cool, you know. That, that ain't not, that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. Now I'm just going to put that down and then just come over it like this. Uh, this cam doesn't have autofocus, unfortunately. But I'm just showing you, just trying to give you a clear picture and just show you what kind of results you can get. Uh, hopefully when this goes onto YouTube uh, it will show you a good if you change the resolution of your setup to whatever you want to do now I'm just showing you some aftershave here it's Mandarin 
it's very nice so yeah this was just a little demonstration of how you change the channels the size of this little camera is absolutely minute and the picture I mean I'm you know my eyes are clearer view for me than probably what this camera is getting because it doesn't have autofocus it just has a static focus but it's really good and if you are flying with this I mean I'm not getting any break up with this channel and this is on E1 and that's at 25 milliwatt so if I change that to um, 200 then I should be able to get some distance with my bigger quads which uh, those flights will be to follow possibly this week but my children are off school so normally I would do all of this while they're at school and if they're off then obviously I've got to spend time with them but just a little video to show you setting it up how easy it is and how you know such a nice little um, size you know you can fit this I, I fit it on a nano you know my, my quad my cyclone drone is a nano quadcopter and I set it up on that and uh, it flies around the house no problem and that's just showing you the view I mean basically that this little screen is so good for for resolution for something so small you do get a good picture and uh, that's it really just showing you that for aerial with mods to follow does anybody know if you can regulate this somehow so you could use um, bigger battery packs like 7.4s or 11.1s and then regulate the voltage down to 3.7 which is what I want us uses and I'm sure there is a way to do it but how you do it I'm not an electrician but I'm sure there is somebody that's even looked into it or even doing it and then you can power this from one battery and then you don't have to worry about this battery running out within five or ten minutes of flying depending on what output you're using because the one S's don't last very long that's the only drawback with it but yeah hope you uh, enjoy this fly or this review demo uh, please guys continue to subscribe to my channel leave me comments positive or negative give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you give me a thumbs down give me a reason why you don't like it and then I can work on that in the future videos to come because I want to still make videos for you guys it's, uh, it gives me something to do with my time as well. I enjoy doing it. And I just wanted to show you guys the Eosheen TX03. Uh, an all-in-one camera with a uh, transmitter, etc. Uh, Multi-voltage, uh, easy to set up. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I say, please continue to subscribe and I will keep making these videos if you guys want to watch them. Okay, this is Gadget Man 404.